Hey guys, Josh Carter here with One Objective. Finally got the spawning video up. Um, it's been a long process, uh, mainly just with everything else we got going on with uh, fishing tournaments, the online events, and the show, and just it's just been just a bunch of crazy stuff going on. So finally was able to get everything loaded, uh, gone through editing, and so we can get it up for you guys. Uh, I tried to do something a little different than what we have been doing. I know we've done a lot of product stuff. Um, we've done a lot of, you know, we've got our shows. I actually wanted to get more into the how to of fishing. We've got a couple of videos of how we do certain techniques or just going out fishing. But so this video is a little long as usual, but I went a little more in depth on, on how I'll catch spawning fish. Uh, I've had a lot of people ask me, uh, it's not rocket science, but you, you got to understand what these bass are doing. And sometimes you can pull right up on one and you can tell he's locked on and then sometimes they're not in the mood. You know, they're, they're either, they've been caught before and they ain't going to hit nothing for a little while or they're just not locked on, they're just cruising on around, they're going nuts. Um, so I kind of talk a little bit about that in the video, but I also talk about how I like to catch them. The two key baits in this video was uh, the, the Baby Destroyer and also uh, big bite baits uh, warmouth uh, and the missile destroyer i was just using their, their candy grass color um, really awesome colors just like a, a, a watermelon candy color does really good because you know a lot of the perch come in there trying to get the eggs and eat the eggs and all that so it, the bass key in on that color and then also the warmouth I tried to get that to a more natural looking color i don't have nothing real bright they got some bright greens and stuff but i, I I try to keep my colors natural because some kind of lake's kind of a clear lake. Stuff I'm fishing is clear. It's tough to see that bait down there sometimes, but it's a it's a natural presentation. So, um, but that that's just kind of the main baits I do. Uh, you'll see in the video I'll talk about how I like to rig them and how I'm using them and and what I'm doing to catch that fish. There's one, the first catch in this video where I catch a buck bass, I had a monster bass swimming around. Eight to nine plus pound bass. I mean, just gigantic. And I kept seeing her swimming around to the side while I was staked out, looking at and this, this bed was on top of a stump. So I was, I had to get it over there, pull it up over into the stump and get the bass to hit it. Finally caught that, put it on the side. As I start flipping to this bass, my memory card fills up. I was like, crap, take it out. Uh, I mean, I get the card, delete, delete some video that didn't have nothing on, and get ready to go back, start fishing, never hit the record button. be honest with you, you didn't miss nothing. I hung into it. She come up one time, jumped, slung it, and after that, she didn't have nothing to do with it no more. So I just released the buck bass. He went right back up on the bed. I come back and checked it out later. I didn't see her nowhere. So kind of a blown opportunity, but that's how it goes. That's fishing. So guys, if you uh, like a video, please hit the subscribe button. And uh, like I said, I hope you enjoy the video. Also comment below what kind of baits you like to use when the fish are on beds. So anyways, guys, hope you enjoy the video. Hit the thumbs up button if you like it. Y'all have a great day. That's on the top of the damn stump. It's like a nine pounder. Oh, oh, my.
I've got to pull that one off the bed. I've got to. That fish is, that fish is gigantic. Freaking gigantic. always good to give these fish something different to look at sometimes when you know flipped a couple things in there and they ain't hitting it you can try a couple of different baits this is actually from Bigfoot baits I mean I'm sorry big bite bait I want to keep it hooking there just a little bit because I'm pitching over on a stump this fish's bed is right on a stump. It's crazy. My nerves. I mean, I'm just shaking like a leaf right now. I mean, I got this one, which is a good one. This is a buck bass. So, and the one that is sitting right beside it is even bigger. And this dude is not really digging this bait being in there, man. He's, he's not happy. He's workable though. I can see it. He picked it up. You gotta be patient with these fish, dude, because they, they do stuff like that. They'll pick it up just to move it. Not the bed. See, he just fell off that stump. He just picked the tail of it up. Just picked the tail just to say, hey, get out of here. Ooh, he hit it. He hit it again. Ooh. He didn't have it. He just sucked it in. Didn't have it. So I gotta really tick him off. He's mad. He's ready to hit it. He's looking. He's like, look. Oh. Ooh. You're gonna get it again. It's right there, man. Come on, dude. Hit it. So you gotta be careful with your hook sets because if you stick them, they get really, really tough to get after that. So you gotta, you really gotta make sure you got them. Oh, I bumped them. He ain't liking that. Oh God, got him. Mm. That's a good fish. Mm. <laughs> <sighs> Thank you, Jesus. Look at Jesus. Look at that hooked right. You see they're not hooked right in the top of the mouth. Alright. Ain't a bad looking fish. He's probably 17. I thought it was bigger than it was, but the cool part about it is Mama will, will come back up. I'll release this one. And then a lot of times mama will stay there because my hands are just 
crazy shaky right now. I got a good fish, needed this fish for a tournament. I'm gonna help out a whole lot. It's better than the 15 I got on there, so. All right, now that we got that one out the way, mommy's pulled up. So, you gotta make sure you're not dried. I just checked my knot, that's all good. I wanna make sure everything is right with this bait. Because, you just wanna be able to control all your variables. You know what I mean? So you just want to make sure everything's good, your point's good, and your knot's good, all that mess. A good thing to do is go between these docks, just scanning. It's also good to kind of fan cast, skip up under these walkways, stuff like that, kind of, kind of, you know, find some that's been cruising still. Sometimes you'll run up on one on a bed doing that as well. I think some of the ones I caught last night were probably off bed. They're just, but I was just fan casting. But just in areas where I think a fish would typically bed. Like this stick right here in the water. Sometimes you'll find them just bedding right there on that, on these poles. If you look down, you'll see them holding the poles sometimes. That's why I keep an eye too, like on, for stumps in the water. That one I just caught was on a stump. Oh! Hey! Look, there he is, a little one. He's on a bed right there. Oh, what? I don't know. He don't look that, that big. I really need a 218s to call up my 15s. So I just got that 16. That one over there is probably 20. So if I could get a 20 or a couple 19s a day would be oh man, be awesome. But what's happening is you got a lot of fish that are pulling up. They're just starting to pull up. Um, yesterday they really started pulling up good. Uh, at least on the upper end here, so. Cool thing about the kayak, man, I'm like the bass, but you don't leave that big of a footprint, so you can pretty much pull right up on top of them, go over them, see where they're at, and then, then reposition yourself to uh, make your cast and all that. So you really got to pay attention to deeper water, too. Put your own Smith Mountain. So you get some of them spawn really deep. So a good pair of glasses. I got the Costa Sunrise Silver. They're good low light uh, glasses, but I just I like using them all the time. Eh? They really brighten everything up. I'm just taking this Nico rig and just skipping it right up under there, just. Sometimes you'll get one like that. Change up a little bit. And my line's good. Get some bass candy going. I mean, some grass candy. This color here is really good when you're flipping for bed and fish. It's got that kind of that perch, I guess, color to it. It's got really good. This fish is very, very finicky. I mean, very finicky. I don't know if that's somebody that caught her. And I get constantly big waves up in here. Which does not help the cause whatsoever. Oh man, this fish is being difficult. I need a cameraman for underwater. You can bump them sometimes. Just make sure you don't snag them. Just, you know, just 
a light bump with the weight will we'll tick them off and they'll spin back around sometimes on it or they'll keep circling tighter and tighter and tighter still getting madder and madder and madder right there she kind of gilled at it a little bit I say gilded I mean, there if you watch her there sometimes you really pay attention their gills will flare and she's pulling back off their their gills will when they get your bait there you'll just see them that's what it's doing sucking sucking the water in there Mm. She didn't like that. She did not like that move. She seen her. She stayed there that time. Looked at and flared up on a little bit. I know you can't see it because the camera and all. But what I'm doing, I'm casting way. You can see a pole under there. I'm casting way out to that pole, letting it sink, waiting for she come back up, or him, whoever is the bug bass, whatever. But. And then I'll just, it looks like she's sitting there right now, so I'll just slowly, slowly work this one in. She's starting to get mad at it. We got a better chance of catching her now. She's, she's staying there. That's good. I see her turning on it. Destroyer is the money when it comes to kitchen bed and fish I don't know what it is just really it does really really good oh got her <clears throat> we got her come on baby stay with me yes sir Yes, 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 yes. That's 17, that's good. Cool thing about this guy right here is we're gonna return it right back on, on the bed. So look how red that mouth is. What's going on guys? How you doing? You all right? I got one about four pounds right here. Y'all catch me any? Yeah, it's been, it's been tough. Oh, gosh. <sighs> She's getting mad. All right, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed that video. Like I say, it took me some time. I know it was a little bit of a long video, but um, we plan on doing some more videos like this um, with more tips and techniques. And then we also have a challenge series that we'll be coming out with. Uh, we've been really planning that through uh, the winter, trying to get everything uh, lined up for it. Uh, also fishing 
the kayak tournament is trying to make the KBF National Championship. It's kind of been a struggle, so we're trying to get a lot of a lot of filming in on top of um, fishing tournaments as well. So, anyways, guys, if you liked it, please hit the thumbs up. Please hit the subscribe button. Uh, here at the bottom, there will be a video to our contest, give, uh, talking about our giveaway. So make sure you go check that video out, see what's in the contest. James did a really good job shooting that, showing you everything that's in it. Uh, we're getting close. I think we're at uh, 901 subscribers. We're 98 subscribers away, guys. So please tell your friends, share it, uh, hit the subscribe, hit the like. Guys, y'all have a great week. Talk to you later. Going to get some film for the Yak Attack tournament. You're going to go down there tomorrow for that. So hopefully we'll have some great footage for that, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.